Hi everyone, Sonia here, and you're watching Pouring with Sonia. And tonight, or today, I'm going to do a swipe. Kind of very fun pop arty colors. I have an idea in mind for this to make a panda bear. <laughs> a pop art panda bear. We'll see, depending on how this turns out. So I've got, these are all acrylic student acrylic paints. The colors I have are fluorescent violet, turquoise, fluorescent green, primary yellow, fluorescent pink, fluorescent yellow orange, and fluorescent orange. The pouring medium that I mixed up is, let's see, 60% glue, 30% water, and 10% Australian Floetrol, which I've never done. I always use the U.S. Floetrol, but I'm feeling like I've got a little bit extra, so I've got a little stockpile, so I thought, oh, I'll try it with Australian Floetrol. And then normally what I do is I mix one and a half parts paint, uh, pouring medium, to one part paint. But that Australian Floetrol is thinner than the U.S. Floetrol, so it was more um, one to one. And um, then if it was U.S. Floetrol, I'd do one and a half parts paint. Uh, I keep messing up. One and a half parts pouring medium to one part paint. And then for the colors, I put one drop of silicone oil for every ounce of mixed up paint. So I put two drops in each one of those. And I have a 14 by 14 canvas. The color I'm going to swipe with is black. And I mix that up two parts pouring medium to one part paint. I definitely want my swipe color to be a little thinner. So let me try and show you the consistency. I'm not sure if it's bright enough in here for you to see this. Um, it's pretty thin. There's, it just barely creates a mound at very small before going down very thin. I would do, I usually use much thicker paints. Um, and so the swiping color is even thinner. It doesn't, it just goes straight down. There's no mound at all. It just goes straight down. So that's the consistency, the pouring medium, the colors. Um, hopefully this will be a fun little swipe. I'm just going to swipe with a couple paper towels. I also have handy my squirt bottle with water in it. So what I'm going to do right now is just kind of wet these a little bit at the bottom. I know I'm going to need to do at least two swipes. So I'm just swiping, or I mean I'm just wetting the bottom of them. And that's just to give it a little weight so it really sinks down into the water. I mean into the paint. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Sorry! I just keep misspeaking tonight. Hopefully you can decipher. Okay. So that's my water. I'm um, also going to need my torch. I thought I was going to do this on a different table. Got my canvas a little wet, so let me just wipe that off real quick. Okay. And then my torch is right here. I might not even need it because these paints are pretty thin. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a little dubious. All right, well, let's have some fun, though, and see what happens. Um, I've kind of got them in the order I want to put them down. Normally, I would probably just put them wherever. But I think I kind of want the colors to progress. Um, so I'm going to start right about up here, leaving room for the black. And my idea here is to overlap two of the colors. Oh, my goodness gracious. Let me just throw that away. So then I'm going to put my blue here and bring it down and then kind of get a lot of blue here and then a little bit here. And I think I poured the rest of that. I think I'm gonna need a little more of this purple right up in here. There we go. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of green right up in here with next to that turquoise, but then bring it down here. You get the idea. So I'm going to bring the yellow up a little bit into the green up here and then put it down here and then a little bit here. Thickest part here, thinnest here. Put 
some pink up in here and then here and then a little bit here now you're gonna lose most of the color on the bottom it's gonna swipe off I'm just telling you but I definitely want some of this nice orange down here so I'm gonna come up maybe a little bit higher hopefully I can save and get some but all this down here is gonna be gone okay now I've got my colors laid out I want to tilt this around so that I get complete coverage see how fast that's moving it's so thin <laughs> makes me a little nervous I don't normally go that thin with my paints okay and let's come back this way a little bit So basically what I want to do right now, I don't want to have a ton of paint left on, and I want to get the sides covered. Um, I'm just going to bring that there. Okay, it looks like I got a little bit here I need to grab on my sides. Woo! So I'm just going to, I don't want the orange <laughs> up there where my green is. Okay, I'm just pulling it down over the sides before I get started, and then I don't have to worry about, oh, I didn't get my sides covered. Okay. Just tilted it right off the edge. And I've just made sure that all my sides are covered. Okay, so now I'm going to put my black stripe across. Oh, they're so thin, and there's already cells coming up. I don't know. We'll see. What happened? Uh-oh. Dog on it. I'm going to have to get some new paper towels, I think. I'm just making sure that goes over the edge there also. Plenty of black. I did ruin this one. <laughs> I'll just wet the other side of it, though. Okay, so here's my first swipe. I'm going to just lay the wet side in here and so I want to make sure I have a really good contact everywhere that there's no air bubbles and I see that I do now before you start swiping make sure there's nothing in back of you so you can just pull in one motion and you don't have to stop now I drip some paint on my paper towel so I just have to uh, off camera here I'm just doing a little bit of I'm doing the other side okay just a little bit wet I'm gonna move these out of the way because I'm gonna I know me and I will end up knocking them over and making a big old mess so I can come right here make sure that it's got good contact there's no air bubbles there's not Nothing is behind me. Okay. There's a little bit of a gap there. So I might just come along here with my finger, put a little black there, grab the tiniest little piece of paper towel, and put a little more right there. And basically, I just don't want. I just want to streak it a little. That's all. Good enough. Okay, now let's see what happens. You can see I've already got some cells starting because it's so thin. But let's apply some heat and see what happens. I'm just going to start by kind of going back and forth. can always go back if I need to go back. I really don't want to tilt this. I just want to, because I want to, if I tilted this with this being so thin, it would really distort the cells, and I don't want to distort the cells. I'm going to come up here and see if I can get a few more at the top. I got really good cells everywhere else. Maybe it was a little bit closer. 
Now they're going to keep growing and growing. So I'm going to give that a little bit of time. I'm glad I didn't lose all my really bright orange there. So I've got my bright orange, then kind of my fluorescent orange, my pink, and then my yellows, greens, turquoise. No, my green's right there a little bit. Turquoise and purple. And the purple and turquoise also make kind of a darker blue. That's unfortunate that I really would have loved it if this up here would have behaved like this down here. But it didn't. That's okay. Um, I got a few little spatterings. I think I'm just going to go in one more time. See if I can get a little bit underneath here to pop up and play. I'm going to be painting over this kind of a lot anyways. And so I'd like for there to be a little bit of stuff to play with. And so then I'll probably make that the bottom of the panda and this the top of the panda and that could be a fun oh my gosh that's pretty fun I am happy with most of the cells there's just a couple that kind of caterpillared on me I don't really like those caterpillars but it's not the end of the world there's quite a few very nice <laughs> formations here I'm going to bring you down I'll take a closer look I think it's a pretty fun swipe so, you're always going to have most of your swipe color at the top. Um, I'm probably just going to go in where that little stripe is um, there and just paint it black. I'm not going to mess with it trying to, to do things now. Now, the cells at the top are going to be bigger because they're not bombarded next to other ones. So, the ones at the top where there's no color bombarding next to them, they'll get bigger. So, that'll be kind of fun. Um, so, that's the top. That's where my purple, then my little bit of my turquoise coming in here. And so I just couldn't get these to really come up. That's okay. I'm okay with that. It's kind of a fun having those kind of almost looks like spatter. Um, then I've got my little bit of green coming in. The green kind of got lost a little bit, but I've definitely got some. The yellow here. Got some fun multicolored cells all throughout, which is nice which will be nice for the pop art. Then I've got the pink also got a little bit lost because it got mixed in with the um, orange, but I got a little bit like there's pink, definite pink right there. Everything's going to dry a little bit darker too. So the pink might come out a little bit more, but look, I like pink and orange next to each other. I just can't avoid it. I just love it. <laughs> I, I always have to put them next to one another, but there's some really great multicolored cells in here. It's a fun swipe. That's for sure. I think it'll make a fun pop art piece. We'll see. Um, gosh, it's just kind of cool the way it is. So um, I hope that you've enjoyed watching this. And um, if you don't follow me on Facebook, please do. My handle, my handle, my handle. <laughs> my um, Facebook is Pouring with Sonia. Same as the YouTube. And um, so to see the finished product in a few days, maybe in a week, or probably maybe even like in three days because this will dry pretty fast because it's pretty thin. You can follow and have a look there. Um, I'll post it there. And also my Instagram is Pouring Sonia. I don't have the width in there. It's just Pouring Sonia. So you can check it out there. I'll post it there as well. Um, so um, I hope that you've enjoyed this. Um, swiping. I always want to make sure that the swiping color that you're going to swipe with is thinner than the colors that you've mixed up and um, if you do that you'll probably get a pretty good result that is a pretty good result so um, until we meet again have fun painting everyone bye